Weight Watchers, you get these like extra weekly points where you can kind of have them if you want to go out with friends and you don't have enough, you know, points left. You have a, a really big amount of just like freebie points. I didn't use a single one. Not a single one. Um, I really stuck on track and I just... I'm really doing it and show us don't tell us in the same way that I see Amber always going like oh I didn't really order that much from Uber Eats what are you guys talking about no you guys don't want to see the receipt I mean there's really nothing to show on the receipt show us the receipt I want to see what you ordered how easy would it be okay you don't have to show us the credit card information you don't have to show us your address or anything like that you can blur all that out let me see the actual order I'm sick of having to guess and when Amber says I really stuck to the diet. Like, it wasn't that hard for me. Because you know, guys, like, I'm really good at dieting as a woman is like 600 pounds. It's obvious to me that Amber has no self-control. And even if you didn't use up any of your extra points, it doesn't really mean anything given the fact that, what is this, Weight Watchers? What is this going to be, like a week and a half and then you just give up on the diet and move on to the next one, like Jenny Craig or something like that? It's too convenient for Amber to just move to one diet to the next diet to the next diet. And the problem I see oftentimes with Amber when she does this is she looks for a quick and easy out for a lot of this stuff because she thinks that it's going to be a quick and easy out. When in reality, there is no quick and easy way out. It's you have to put in the work and you have to continuously do the work and you have to be super responsible for yourself. You can't just expect to go on a diet and then just lose all the weight. I'm very proud of myself. True. I'm just, I'm very, very proud of myself. And You know, she says she's proud of herself, but then like the next week later, she's probably off the diet. It's like, does that proudness maintain? Like, what is like a dopamine hit? Like, she's happy for like two days or like a day and a half, and then she body slams 8,000 calories and then just like starts crying about it, I guess. Five days losing 15.2 pounds. For some people, they're going to be like, that's super unhealthy, but I had a lot. You know what? It, when Amber says that's super unhealthy, there's just something really weird about it. Like if you lost 15 pounds in what, five days, I don't even think that's really that bad because the, given the fact that she has lipedema, given the fact that she has all these weight fluctuations, it could literally just be water weight. It could be a whole bunch of things. So I would add somebody at this weight, like for instance, if I had lost 15 pounds in five days, I'm heading to the emergency room. That is no bueno. That is not delicioso. That is actually a problem for me because I weigh 150 pounds. So if I lost 15, 15 pounds, what is that like? I don't even know what that would be, like 10% of my weight or like 5 or 6, 7% of my weight. 15, 15 pounds for Amber is probably like less than 1%. It's nothing. So given that, it's probably not that big of a deal. But I hear what she's saying. It may not be in, in correlation to the rest of humanity. But Amber is an exception to this rule. Water, water weight I was holding on to. And not only that, but I am bigger. True. So I'm hoping this next coming week I lose about six pounds. I think six, six pounds would be pretty good. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep losing this much weight because your body starts getting Is this used. a choker or is this some kind of like hairband around her neck? What is that? Why does she always wear these chokers, man? I, I swear. It's like Amber is stuck in the year 2009 or something like that. Back when like Fall Out Boy was killing it. You know what I'm talking about? That oh, I charmed in with the haven't you? I know that's not Fall Out Boy, okay? I know it's I know it's not. It's My Chemical Romance. No, I know it's not My Chemical Romance. I know who it is, okay? Blood on the dance floor. No, I know who it is, okay? I know what it is. But the point I'm making is Amber is stuck in that year, that time frame, back when Tobey Maguire was Spider-Man, dude. And, you, you know, MTV was a thing. Oh, what beautiful times. What beautiful times. We didn't know how good we had it. Smartphones weren't really a thing. You can actually go outside and you can look at people and they wouldn't think you're weird because you looked at them because nowadays everybody's on their phone. So it's kind of like really weird if you look up at somebody and you catch eyes with them and they think you're weird for that. Uh, nowadays, just uh, you, we didn't know how good we had it. We just didn't of things and stuff like that but anyways so i'm turning this whole video into because i haven't ate today i'm gonna turn this into a whole like what i eat in a day when i'm not like dieting because i forgot to weigh myself i'm not gonna weigh myself now I you know what i love about amber is that she'll go ah I made a mistake and because I made a mistake, I might as well just keep making more mistakes because I already made that first initial mistake, which automatically means this whole day is pretty much dismissed from me doing anything good, which is terrible. That's like somebody doing something, that's like you, okay? 
That's like you running over somebody and going, well, I mean, I already ran over one person. I might as well just keep going. Might as well get 20 more people. I mean, I already got one. That's terrible, Amber. What is this like domino effect? You don't have to. You can at some point remove one of the dominoes and eventually it stops. You understand that? I don't know why Amber always is like, well, I already fucked up. I might as well keep fucking up. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, bro. To me, it doesn't make any sense. I've been awake for hours and I think it's just you guys should kind of see the things that i'm eating um so which honestly speaking i don't think it really even matters because amber doesn't actually show us what she actually eats in a day because most of the time it doesn't really make sense she used to in her earlier videos i feel like because when i did watch those videos and i saw her body slamming literally packs of kit kats and ordering uber eats three four five times a day and dropping literally fifteen thousand dollars I'm um, sorry, $3,000 a month on fast food takeout and so on and so forth. I mean, that was very believable. I, it made sense. Like when I was seeing her drinking thousands of calories worth of milkshakes that were just coffee at Starbucks, which I would consider to be milkshakes because most of the time that's what it is. It's just solid sugar. And it's like a thousand calories per drink. That made sense. Like I was seeing Amber eat three, four, 5,000 calories a day consistently. That makes sense. But like in modern times, in more recent years, Amber has lied a lot. And it doesn't make any sense why she would do that because you can't be somebody that's well over 500 pounds and then show me that you've only eaten like a thousand, a thousand calories that day. Do you think I'm dumb? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think that I can't connect the dots? I know that that day that you said you ate a thousand calories is alive. You, there's no way you're maintaining 520 up to 600 pounds. And you're telling me that you're only eating a thousand calories a day. That doesn't make any sense. That's like a guy going, I love vagina, vagina all day. It's so good. It's so tasty. I love the sensation. The nickel flavor of vagina is the best. And then I'm going, yeah, bro, that's really cool. And like, can I get that double quarter pounder with cheese? And I turn back around. And I see this guy bleh, 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 swallowing me without me even noticing. <gasps> oh my God, my meat is salivated. That's what it's like. It doesn't make sense, Amber. Make it make sense. Okay. Show me what you're actually eating. Give us the receipts. If you're honestly speaking about this shit, have a camera crew in your house okay camera camera in the bathroom don't do that that's okay don't put it in the bathroom that's gross that don't ever do that okay but it's okay uh but you know what she might put some sandwiches or something like that she might have the guy the delivery guy cut can you imagine having the delivery app and you go oh, i just got an order from a woman named amber what did it say deliver the food through the bathroom window knock three times and say oh then I'll know it's you. And then Amber, you know, she she's like, there's a reason why I was in the bathroom for four hours. Oh, my indigestion was so big. She come out with spaghetti stains on her lips, you know, mayonnaise running down her face and shit. Like, I don't know what was going on in there. I, I was just really, uh, my stomach was just bubbling. So tomorrow is Monday, which we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. New day, new fucking me, dude. What are you talking about? New day of the week. Monday, oh, I'm gonna start my diet. I hear this a lot. I remember I heard a dude one time, this shit actually have on my back. When people say this, where they go, I know I have a problem, but I'm going to start. I'm going to change myself next week. I'm going to change myself the next month, right? Or whatever. I knew a dude, <laughs> I knew a dude one time who was spending upwards of two, three thousand dollars a month on weed. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. If you have expendable income, who am I to tell you what you can and cannot do? It's legal in my state. So if you want to do that, but it was actually negatively affecting his life. He had kids, he has a wife and all this other stuff. He was down on his payments. He was perpetually in debt. And he was always complaining about never having money. And I always, I remember telling him, I was like, bro, there's a reason why you don't have money. You're spending so much of it on Meryl, Meryl Mary Jane, you know, the, 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 the devil's lettuce and all this stuff. You're indulging too much. And he goes, you, you know, David, you're right. I'm going to start on the new year, January 1st. We're going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to real deal. I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to fucking make sure that I get my life in order. And I was like, bro, it's February. I was like, what are you doing January, bro? It's like a whole year. And he's like, I just got to make sure I have enough time to get it fully out of me. And I was like, dude, that's terrible. Can you imagine pre-ordering? You're not going to fix yourself, by the way. If you're over here going, I'm going to fix it tomorrow, or I'm going to fix it a month later, a year later, dude, you're never going to fix that shit. You, you're not, I'm not taking you serious if you're telling me that shit. And he didn't. That was like a full year ago, and he's still spending that same amount. And, you know, sometimes I really wonder if it is a part of the American culture to be perpetually in debt. But it just doesn't make sense to me how you could be perpetually in debt from smoking weed. Though... I did know a woman that did go in debt for a double cheese pizza, dude. I remember that. 
I remember I was on the phone with this woman and she had told me, she was like, I got no money in my bank account right now, but I do kind of want this double cheese pizza from this place down the street. I think I'm probably just going to have to overdraft. And I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, I'm just, I just really kind of need this pizza right now. I'm just kind of thinking about how good it tastes in my mouth. Oh man. I'm just like, I'm I probably have to go down there right now. And then I was like, I don't know if you should do that. And then she was like, I'll be right back. She called me back like an hour later and she was body slamming that shit. She was like, yeah, I overdrafted to get the pizza and they charge you extra for overdraft. So sometimes people, I don't know, man, sometimes sometimes you hear people talk and then I know they know what they're saying. And I know that they can understand that what they're going to do is negative, but they still do it anyway, which is crazy to me. That doesn't make any sense. How can you do that? Okay. Anyway. Uh, my 1600 calories and stuff like that. 1600 calories is way too low for somebody like Amber. I mean, let's be honest here. Amber is literally eating probably in total in a day. If I'm going to keep it a buck more than 3000 calories easily too, probably more, probably more close to 5,000. I wouldn't even be surprised if Amber was eating 5,000 calories a day. If Amber is eating, let's say 5,000 calories a day on average, she should realistically be putting that calorie down to 4,500. And you might be like, David, that's a lot of calories. It is a lot of fucking calories. Okay. I get it. That's like what you should eat in like two or three days. I understand. Amber is different. She's fucking different. Okay. She putting herself down to 1,600 calories is no bueno for somebody of her size. She should be adjusting according to her. She's it's relative to the person you'll lose weight. At 4,500 calories, if, you, if you're maintaining at 5,000, you will. And when you go down to that 4,500 and you start plateauing, you lower it down. You lower it down to 4,000. And then when you hit that again, you lower it down to 37. 37 down to, to, to 35. 35 down to 3,000. You just keep doing that. Eventually, your body will get used to the fact that you're just eating things until you hit that new plateau. Slow and steady. If you're going from 5,000 calories to 1,600 calories, you, good luck. Good luck. Okay, so I'm starting off with a diet. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it's diet. Prove it. Soda. Hi. Bam, Becky always looks so depressed when she's around Amber, dude. I saw her new girlfriend. <laughs> I saw those pictures they were posting, dude. I saw how happy she was in her eyes. I knew it was right. I knew she was meant to be with that woman, dude. Oh, oh it's just, it makes me feel so good knowing that people are around toxic people. Cause I know Amber is uh, very toxic in relationships, dude. I see it. She's actually self-admitted that whenever she's in a relationship with somebody, she like has them consume her where she needs like constant text messages. She needs constant calls. She needs constant attention from that individual. And she adopts so much of their character traits within her, which is very not good. By the way, you should be your own person organically. It's all right. If you want to pick up like little traits that somebody has, that's going to happen regardless when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're spending a lot of time with them it happens, right? But you shouldn't let that person become you. you. That person should just be the icing on the cake of your life. And you are the cake. Maybe that's a bad analogy when it comes to Amber, but you understand what I'm saying. Amber has a real big problem when it comes to relationships because she needs that person to be there 100% of the time. And if they're not there 100% of the time, I guess she starts getting crazed out. And I've seen it time and time again. If I'm going to be honest with you for a second, I think Amber should probably just stay single for a very long time here because, I mean, what is she really waiting for? I mean, she's, you know what I'm saying? She's not on a time clock or anything like that. She doesn't give a fuck. If she wants to, well, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think she just stay out of relationships for a really long time. Uh. And learn and learn, dude, and understand that you don't have to be because like I see her bouncing from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. Like what was the gap in between Becky and uh, wifey? How, what was that gap? And like what was the gap between Destiny and Becky? Like a month? Dude, that's not that's not good. Okay. You doing? Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, that famous crouton salad, dude. If you can even call this a salad at all, dude, this shit is crazy, dude. You must have asked them for way more croutons. Look at this thing. You're just eating bread at that point. You should have just went back there and be like, yo, let me get the, let me get the, let me get the loaf. Let me get the loaf. Crazy. Damn. How many calories do you think this was? Uh, the macaroni cheese, I think it's a cookie or some cornbread or something like that. This is probably like, I think I remember seeing what the calories were for this. This is like seven, eight hundred, nine hundred calories. Not even joking with you. <laughs> Amber is just built different. Okay, so Becky and I went to Kroger's and I just Isn't got it something for tonight.
it's <laughs> can you imagine saying I just got something for tonight and you see like three or four individual bags? And by the way, where I live, you can't even get these bags anymore. They don't give you plastic bags unless you go to one of the Chinese dollar stores. They still have bags, which it, I do go to. And I'll just buy something because they do give the bags. They don't care. I don't know if like companies or whatever are being taxed based off of the bags they do. But I remember when I was a cashier and people at the counter used to be like, hey, um, you think I could probably get like one extra bag back when we used to have the plastic bags? I'm like, yeah. Whatever, dude. I used to double, triple, quadruple. But I remember one day, this old grandma came up to my shit. She was like, oh, honey, I just ran out of bags in my, in my house. And my husband, Harold, he just uses them so often. Do you think you can throw a few extra in there? I'm not even playing with you. We used to have boxes of these bags underneath our tables. I literally took off the stack and I threw it in the bag and I just restacked. What the fuck are they going to do, bro? I'm getting paid minimum fucking wage, you know? And I was doing so much work for this company that I felt like because I remember I asked them for a raise and they were like, come back in a month. And I remember I was like, I'm probably doing like 40% more work than everybody in this whole establishment. And the fact that you're not even giving me a raise is insane. Like I felt like I was being super undervalued, but, and I'm, I know I was like, I was super great. Like, don't get me wrong. I sucked in any other aspect of the job with the exception of being on the cashier. Cause I'm like, I guess I'm just really good around people. Right. Super. I don't know what they call that. Like type a personality. I'm really good around other people. Right. I feed off other people's energies, but I was like really good on cashier and these people never gave me fucking raises, dude. And it was so terrible. And so I would just give shit out for free, man. I just kind of sucked at um, not giving. Like I remember there was this one lady and she was, she'd buy these forks, right? And I remember I liked her so much. Not like that. I liked her in the sense of like, she was nice to talk to. So I used to give her really special deals, right? So if the forks were, I think they were three, four or $5 or something like that, like good quality metalware, right? But I didn't know um, what the actual price for these particular forks were. So I just typed them on my, my like 1994 Windows XP computer thing that they had. And I'd go fork and that shit would come up for five cents. And I'd be like, five cents. And I'd give her a deduction, dude. I was scanning shit, um, giving her deductions because I liked this woman so much, dude. And I did that all the time. Uh, I used to give people free shit all the time, dude. They couldn't stop me, man. What the fuck are you going to do? What are you going to do? And you know what? There was this woman named Betty. She was big. She was called, I used to call her Big Betty. She was a big woman, right? And I remember one day, dude, I had given this woman, she was like, oh, there was no skew on this shirt. Um, and there was a woman that used to come into the store and all she used to do was she used to go over to closing section and she would just take off the little tags off of all of the shirts and all the pants. That was just her day. I don't know why she did that, but that's what she did. And apparently nobody could stop her. I don't know how you would stop her, dude. But anyway, that's what she used to do. So people used to come up and there'd be no skew on that. And I'd be like, no problem. So if this shirt was like, I don't know, say for instance, like seven, eight bucks, I would just look up shirt because I didn't know how much it was. And I'd be like, oh, I'll give it to you for three bucks, right? But I remember one day I couldn't on that uh, that time. And Betty had come over and she was like, how much are you giving her for the shirt for? And I was like, ah, oh, three bucks. And she was like, David, three dollars. You know, this shirt's like 10 bucks. You know, this shirt's 10 bucks. And I was like, oh, uh, well, can you go and get me the scoot? Can you go? Can you go and get me the skew? Keep in mind, this woman's like 350, 400 fucking pounds. And she's like, <sighs> You don't know what it is? And I'm just thinking, like, if I knew what it was, I wouldn't be giving her for $3. She was like, all right, I'll be right back. And I'm conversating with the customer. And I literally remember looking back. And I see this bitch Betty chilling in the front. And I'm like, Betty, where the fuck the skew at? And she was like, um, she was like, oh, uh, I couldn't find it. And I'm just thinking, like, okay. And she was like, just give it to her for $3. And I was like, oh, okay, bro. So you just literally wasted my fucking time. I don't even know if she went up there. I think she might, she had a chair. Like it was our job to stand up and she had a fucking chair. She had a swivel chair. She was big, man. Um, I remember one day she fell down and she couldn't get back up and a whole bunch of paramedics had to come through and actually pick her up off the floor, which is real sad. But it is what it is. When you eat like, when you eating real good, like super good, dude, that is actually not a good thing because I know I'm going to be hungry later. So a I stack got, of bread got the damn that breathing was crazy that <sighs> got this bread. Bread is definitely what I you love need. that type of bread. You should be pro, you should be focusing really hard on protein especially if you're kind of, if you're if you're going on a diet. Protein and should be the main with thing. With sandwiches um where is it? Okay, I also got I'm gonna yeah, be the, eating the these. The big like, stacks is crazy, dude. She got them thick ones too. Here. This is 
Six big cup. Big cup Reese's. Yeah, why you why you need to get the big cups? I'm probably gonna eat all of them or just like five or something. <laughs> The fact that she just comes out of nowhere with the, uh, I'm probably going to, let's be honest, I'm probably body slamming the whole thing. Let's just be honest here. Um, and then this is the lunch meat I like to use. How long does this usually last you? Because when I have sandwich meat, I usually don't even eat it all because I forget about it. I probably can eat half the half the box before I forget about it, and that'll be like over a week. Rotisserie seasoned deli fresh. So I use that. So I'm going to be eating that tonight, and when I make it, I'll show you guys. Oh. And the mayonnaise I use. Why does it matter? Is this avocado oil mayonnaise? Yeah, doesn't fucking matter. I don't care what kind of mayonnaise you do. Like the the fact that Amber thinks that she's trying to do something here while claiming like, oh, but like the mayonnaise is really. Can you, can you imagine trying to justify your eating habits with my mayonnaise is low calorie? Girl, I just saw you whip out the the fucking thick sized Reese's cups. And you just told me you're body slamming the whole thing. I don't give a fuck about the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is the least of my worries. You're just about to body slam an entire pack of Reese's cups. So. Chuck, get to get, get out my face. Get out my face, bro. Get out my face. How you gonna sit there and go? How you gonna sit there and tell me, right? You gotta sit there and tell me, hey, oh, you know, we just probably we just went to Kroger real quick to get some food for later tonight because we're gonna eat in, you know, we're gonna I got that sandwich meat, you know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna make sure I eat this sandwich meat. And then you pull up to the Mickey D's, huh? <sighs> make it make sense to me, please, Amber. Uh, how you gonna pull up to the Mickey D's after you just told me that you're eating this shit later on tonight? Is this not later on tonight? Is this the second meal that you're gonna be body slamming? How do you even do this shit? Here we are. In the drive-thru, too. The good old Mickey D's. Let me get a number nine, a number nine large, a number six with an extra dip, you a number seven, <laughs> two number 45s, one with cheese, one with cheese, and a large soda. I'm giving it to you. So. How may I help you? Oh, uh, one second. You don't, man, come on, dude. I'm sick of people that go up to that drive-thru and not know what they want. That's fucking crazy, dude. It's Mickey D's. What do they got on the menu? You know what you... You know what you're getting. Don't lie to me, dude. If you're going to Mickey D's, you know what you're fucking getting. Has there ever been a time that you went into a Mickey D's and you didn't know what you was getting? You're crazy. You must not be from this country. You must be from, like, a, a different civilization. You must be from a different universe where you have to look at the menu and go... I, I just don't know what I really want. I just, I don't know. It's the same thing. Don't lie to me, dude. You getting, I know what you get. I know what you get. You're getting the QP. You're getting the large fry. And you're getting a drink. Just order that. You're good. Get the fucking meal. I know that's what you're getting, dude. Don't lie to me. Oh, they got the two for six? Get two McCrispies. That's what you're getting. You know you're getting that. Don't fucking lie. Even when I see a deal on the wall, I'm like, I'm getting that then. That's what I'm getting. Dude, you're not, you, nobody ever went to McDonald's and didn't know what they were getting. Fuck off me. Just the two snack wraps oh, and a Sprite. Just the two snack wraps and a Sprite, of course. Crispy. Okay. Um, I need a two. The fact that she makes Becky say it too. I feel like, does Amber, is Amber, Amber like super, super antisocial? Could somebody in the comment section let me know? Snack wraps, crispy, <laughs> and a large Sprite. Crispy just like that, that butt cheeks do when Amber didn't wash herself for a year straight. So. You know, the fact that this is not something I would ever want to get from Mickey D's. They put no loving care in this shit. The late night workers probably mop the floor with this. Would you ever go to Mick? Oh, come on, man. There are plenty of other things that you're getting at McDonald's that I feel like that are worth the value. This is not it, dude. This is really not this it. Is what they and I think each one of these is like 200 calories, like 250 or something like that. The snack wraps, these things are not worth it. Like, I just got two of them. Just? I didn't get fries or anything. But that large Sprite is literally chilling at like 300 calories, right? That large Sprite is like 300 fucking calories, man. And I got a Sprite. So, it's just... So, if I'm going to be honest with you, the 200, 200, the Sprite's probably around 300. So, you're looking at five, six, seven hundred 700 calories for a late night fucking snack? Amber! Amber! You just went food shopping literally today! I think that's like ranch or something. The fact that she Let doesn't even know what it is, is it hurts me deeply. Like, you should know what you're having on your food. This and, okay, this is gross. I don't, I don't like touching my food really. That's a lie. I literally saw a whole compilation of Amber eating food. I saw, 
This girl literally, you know the frosting on the cake? She literally did that and was like, uh, looking at Becky and shit. So, Fuck and off. just chicken on the inside. How is there a whole compilation, like a 25 minute compilation of her touching food? And it's literally called Amber Lynn Reed touches food. And you're talking about some, I don't like touching my food. Okay. So that is all it is. So there we go. What do you mean that's all it is? That's a lot. 200 calories plus 200 calories and the drink. There is my lunch. God okay. Damn. Oh, so you still had the sandwich? Here is my final. What is the gap? I would love to know what the gap looks like in between those foods. Because if you went to Mickey D's and then you were like, all right, I'm a body slam this. And then you waited like, what, 20, 30 minutes? And then you were like, I'm kind of a little bit hungry. Like, I'm probably, I might need to go ahead and make that sandwich again. I'm, You know what I'm saying? I thought that was it. I thought that was it for the day. I thought she was going to be done after that. I thought this was going to be like for tomorrow. But I guess I fucked up. Final the meal. The sandwich. And funyuns and in the sandwich killing that shit that's what that looks like i like my sandwich is pretty plain dude get your cat, cat off the table well, dude man amber gotta chill back with these cats they're not supposed to be anywhere near this shit you should have better cat etiquette when i had my my cat dude my cat knew better my cat would always be curious you know when i first got my cat um i you know i made sure to teach my cat never to get on the tables never to touch my food never to any of that shit cats do learn Okay, I don't know what people, I know some people say like cats are autonomous, they do what they want to do. They do, but they also can respect you because you feed them and maybe give them treats and they know that your food is your food, right? And I don't know, dude, I feel like Amber needs to step up. She needs to put her foot down and go, I'm the man of this household. Don't touch my Funyuns and, and Oscar Mayer deli meat sandwich. We have two cats, they smell the chicken. Dude, get them away. Um, And then I also have Reese's. Oh yeah, I forgot about the pack of Reese's, dude. I forgot. So she's about that was that pack of Reese's like 700 calories, 300 calories, three to four, three to five, three to 700 calories, and then this sandwich is probably like 500 calories. The Funyuns is like 200. God Peter, damn. So that is everything that I am going to be eating today. With Weight Watchers, it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy. That's not how that works. You were eating unhealthy. <sighs> It's not that Weight Watchers was allowing you to eat unhealthy. You just probably looked at Weight Watchers and was like, I think this is probably unhealthy. Or like you were eating unhealthy and you contributed to the unhealthy eating because of the Weight Watchers. When in reality, it was you who decided to eat unhealthy. I don't know why Amber just can't take accountability. She has to literally blame everything on everybody else. It was allowing- The licking the lips too out of nowhere is crazy, dude. I know a lot of black guys that do that. You know, I'm talking about like this, like, oh yeah. I know a lot of black guys that do that shit. Personally, I do not having my lips my lips be licked. Um, these black dudes, dude, they got to be walking around with like permanent Carmax or like some WD-40 or something like that, dude. Vaseline constantly because these black dudes be licking their lips a lot. I'm not saying all black guys. I know these people out there, oh, David, I'm black. I don't lick my lips. Sure, I know. But I know a lot of black guys that lick lips. When I was on... I remember I was on TikTok Live because I was trying to make fun of people. Not like willingly. I just thought it was hilarious that people were doing what they were doing on uh, TikTok Live, right? I wasn't saying anything. I would just like watch this shit. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on in this TikTok, right? But these black dudes would be on TikTok Live, dude. And they'd be doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be lit tonight. It's about to be lit. And don't get me wrong. There were white dudes doing this shit too. And I was so astonished at the amount of women that I saw that were thirsting over these dudes and some of them look like they were like 14 i know they were grown men but they look like they had never hit puberty before and they were acting super immature i don't know i just always assumed that women were better at determining who was the optimal you know what i'm saying and here i was watching like grown women looking at guys going oh my god you're so pretty first of all dude this guy is prettier than you do you want to date a dude that you have to compete with this guy do you have to ask him what his skin skincare routine is allowing me to eat very unhealthy it was allowing me to weasel in a pint of ice cream. That's not real, Amber. You can't just be like, oh, yeah. I mean, it really, uh, it wasn't my fault, honestly. Like, it let me do it. I couldn't even believe that it let me put in a pint of ice cream. And I think in reality, what she meant was it allowed me to squeak in. By the way, you can't be saying that. You can't be like, oh, it allowed me to squeak in or squeeze in. What do you mean squeeze in a pint? Oh yeah, how you squeezing a fucking pint of ice cream? What is that? What are you even talking about? What? That's like somebody saying like, oh, you know, I might have sucked off a little BBC or two. Like, what do you mean a little? Huh? What do you mean a little bit? You can't say that. That's not how that works. It's a BBC, right? For a reason. But 
what I'm actually hearing is I was on this diet and then I said, fuck that shit. And I'll body slam that pint of ice cream and I'm gonna blame it on the diet for that. Um, I had McDonald's Crazy. 20 piece nuggets twice. A 20 piece is a thousand. Is a thousand calories right off the bat. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. A thousand calories, man. In five days. Um, so it was allowing me to eat very unhealthy, which I wasn't liking, but I was still dropping the weight, which was crazy to me. Um, I was able to eat- If it was working, okay. As some people quoted, huge bowls of rice, and I was still able to lose weight. Um, it was just allowing me to be very free with my food. If this is working for you, if you were eating like that and you were losing weight, why did you stop? Why would you stop? If this was working for you, why did you stop, Amber? But for someone like me, it could be triggering. I feel like what I'm actually hearing from Amber is that she didn't, she was okay with the diet and then she realized that she wasn't okay with the diet and now she needs a reason like a scapegoat to try to stop the diet and this is the reason why. Oh, it's unhealthy. Amber, you don't give a fuck about unhealthy. What are you talking about, man? You're literally chilling at like 520 perpetually. It's not, it, it doesn't matter about the unhealthy, dude. Um, after the weigh-in that I gave you guys, it was a Friday. And with Weight Watchers, you're allowed weekly points. I had about 40 something weekly points and I was gonna use them that Friday. I didn't use them the week before. I didn't want to because I thought it was gonna sabotage my whole progress. So I didn't want to use them. But I was like, you know what? I just had my weigh-in. I can just use my weekly points, which is allowed. This isn't like, I wasn't doing something bad. So this is the reason why I don't fuck with a lot of these like calorie or like point systems type thing like Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and all this other stuff. If it works for you, it works for you. But I would always tell people that if you're going to go on a diet, I would always say fuck the diet and just eat healthier. Just make better dietary decisions and count calories. That's all really it's about. So um, you can continue to eat what you want to eat, which probably isn't the best in the sense of like if you're eating McDonald's and you realize you have a 2000 calorie deficit and you eat for a two two twenty piece McNuggets, which would get you up to two thousand calories, you can do that. Probably not the best, but at least if you do that, you're eating what you want to eat, and then you'll probably learn from it because you're going. I just ate two thousand calories today, and I still am like really really hungry. Of course, you're still really really hungry, but now you're going to make better decisions. You're going to try to maximize that calories as much as you can. So you're going to go to the grocery store. You're going to buy fruits and vegetables. You're going to find out how to like really maximize the amount of calories. It teaches you better techniques than just I don't know a predetermined method of like Weight Watchers or whatever. I was still doing the program, so I decided to go to Chinese food, and I was going to use the weekly points. Okay. Which is why they're there. It's for times when you know you're going on a date or a date? you're out with friends or something, and you want the food that you usually you might be weird for like whipping out tupperware if you're if you're somebody that's really really like into dieting or you're really trying to mid-max yourself and get into shape as quick as possible don't think that you look weird if you roll up to a dinner table and you order a water or a cup of coffee and you whip out the tupperware you are weird but it's i you're my kind of weird that's a beautiful type of weird rep it it's cool we can't have kind of so i was like okay well i'm gonna use my weekly points on this and everything's gonna be fine that's wrong. <laughs> it wasn't fine. Um, I could not stop eating for the next like five or six days. Okay. Um, all right. I don't understand what this has to do with Weight Watchers. How the fuck are you going to tell me like, oh yeah, I went to the, I went to the Chinese spot and then I just started eating it. I didn't stop eating for five days. Five days is a crazy amount of time, Amber. How the fuck did you stop eat? You didn't stop eating for five whole days? That's serious. That is actually some medical issues right there, dude. You need to go get evaluated. Five fucking days? Jesus. That's not Almost a whole week? Damn, bro. What does this have to do with Weight Watchers again? What did the points... Do? Like, Why did you determine this to be something that Weight Watchers had you do? Like, if you added up points over the week, and then you like, you, it was a trigger for you to use those points... You can't contribute that to be Weight Watchers' problem. That's a you problem. You couldn't control yourself. It wasn't that Weight Watch. Okay, what am I talking about? I don't even know why I fuck I'm justifying this shit. It doesn't make sense. It literally, none of this makes sense. I just, I was off track. No shit. And Five fucking days worth of it. I don't even, uh, yeah, that's an understatement. I was off track. It's like an understatement. Wait, I was becoming swollen again. And I was completely off of track because of that one cheat meal. Dude, you can't. 
It doesn't make sense to say that, dude. That doesn't make sense, dude. You can't say it was because of the cheat meal. It was because you had a cheat meal and then you decided you wanted Thanksgiving dinner every single day for the next five days, every single meal. It's not the cheat food. It's not the cheat meal. It's not the Weight Watchers. You decided. Okay. Like going on a binge for five fucking days is crazy, by the way. That is a crazy ass thing. And Amber thinks she doesn't have an issue. Which, when you're on Weight Watchers, when you use your weekly points, they tell you don't consider this like a cheat because you're still on the program. Yeah, but that's not the... Pr Man, dude, Amber always finds a way to like weasel herself out of it or try to like... But you know what's funny? I think that nobody else will look at it like this, but Amber is trying so hard to manipulate it to try to make it seem like it's Weight Watchers' fault. Dude, Amber, that's not how that works. You Like if you're body slamming five days worth of food in like, I don't even know, like one day... It's not Weight Watchers' fault. You just decided to do that. So it was just crazy. It was allowing me. It wasn't allowing you, dude. You... First of all, okay, like you can't. It, okay, this would be like the equivalent of if you had a boyfriend or like a girlfriend, and your boyfriend or girlfriend was like, "Hey, I don't like it when you suck off other guys." Okay, I don't approve of this. And you go, okay. I won't suck off other guys, but you can still suck off other guys, obviously, because you're your own person. You understand? And then you go and you suck off other guys, right? And then when you go and suck, okay, no, actually, this is what it's like. This is like you having a boyfriend and that boyfriend go, hey, suck me off, right? And then you go, so you're letting me suck off guys. And you go, yeah, because I'm a guy. That means that you're going to suck me off, not guys, but me. But technically, I'm a guy. And you go, Huh. And then you go out and then you suck off 40 guys and come back and you go, but you allowed me to suck guys off. What's the problem if it was not guys that were you? I don't see the issue. So what if I sucked off 14 BBCs and I didn't mind it? Whatever, dude. It shouldn't be a big deal. It's a big deal. Okay. You you have full autonomy, Amber. You are your own woman. Um, it's just called responsibility. It's called taking accountability, Amber. You cannot blame Weight Watchers because they gave you extra points that you can use somewhere and you decided to blow those points out the water plus five days worth of extra food on top of that. To Man. eat so much food that was bad for me because fruits were zero points, veggies were zero points, eggs are zero points, ground turkey is zero points, chicken is zero points. Like... Oh, like so many zero points. And it's like when you're trying to be healthy, if I was to eat fish and veggies all day long, I would have zero points. And then in my mind, as a binge eater and a food addict, I'd be like, okay, well, I ate healthy all day. Let's have a pint of ice cream. So it was- Amber, the way you're trying to understand this in your head, like I get it. I do get it. I really do understand the way she's like working this in her head. She's basically saying- because the app or whatever she's using tells her that these particular foods are zero calories, that mean or not zero calories, but zero points. I don't know how you fucking even, why would those be zero fucking points? I have no idea how they, that is the truth. I don't know anything about Weight Watchers, but I'm just like going off of what I hear from her. You're saying that because that is zero points and you eat a fuck ton of that, um, and that was all like, anything could become unhealthy once it becomes unhealthy. So like, for instance, one ice cream sandwich is not bad. 50 ice cream sandwiches is bad. So she was probably thinking, I ate 40 fishes today. Uh, that means I ate that means I ate healthy because this particular app or whatever tells me it's zero calories. Therefore, I can eat whatever the fuck I want because it's zero calories. And there's another reason if that's the truth, which it, if that is the truth, how that works on Weight Watchers, that's dumb. That doesn't even make sense. Um, if that's the case, then don't use that. That doesn't even make sense. Count calories. Understand the numerical value of what these foods are worth via calories and nutrition scales. Why are you looking at Weight Watchers and... Whatever, dude. Whatever, It was man. just... It was frustrating. So after about... Like, she's self-sabotaging is what I'm actually hearing. Is like, she's... She's working with this illusion of ignorance that she knows about. Like, it's purposeful ignorance. Like, she knows the truth, but she's gonna look at it anyway as like, oh... But it says I'm okay, Amber. You're a grown woman. Just because it says it's it, just because it says it's okay, do you think that it's okay? You know what I'm saying? That'd be like, that'd be like you were dating a woman, and the woman was like, "Yeah, I'm a full blown woman, dude. I got egg sack. I got all this great stuff about being a woman, right?" And then you were like, "Oh, that's awesome." And then you're about to have sex with her, and she whips out like a big BBC. You know what I'm talking about? Like she's just sitting there. She's like, "Yo, real quick." 
suck this shit up. And then she whips it out and you hear like a, right? When it hits the table, like she whips it out and just fucking hits the table or whatever. And you're like, what the fuck? I thought you said you were a woman. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my vagina right there. Suck that shit up real quick. Just suck it up real quick. Put that shit, put that solidness in your mouth real quick. Gargle it up. And you're like, huh, even though it looks like a BBC, you just told me that it's a vagina. And even though I know that it's a BBC and I know it's not a vagina, you just told me it is. I'm going to believe you because you told me. That's what I'm hearing from Amber. You know that it's obviously adding up and you're going to still go, but it told me it's not. So I'm technically still a bot. Use common sense. Use your deductive abilities. Over six days, I actually gained 10 pounds. So I ended up gaining 10 pounds of the 15 pounds back. I was... I was very upset and I was like, honestly, F Weight Watchers. It's not Weight Watchers, it's you, Amber. I, I can't do this anymore because For, it's allowing me to eat way too unhealthy. It's not, and it's not allowing you to do I anything. You're a grown woman, you ever, man, I don't know why she keeps saying it allowed me. What do you mean it allowed you? What is it, God himself that bestowed upon you the willingness to do this? You're obligated to follow the directions on the app? No, Amber, you're a grown woman. Figure out how to balance healthy with unhealthy while on this program. It was very hard for me. So when I said F Weight Watchers, I decided to go on a 1600 calorie restriction. Terrible. We are here. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of me. You're going to the fucking Cheesecake Factory? That 1600 gonna stretch real far when you go there. You excited? She's like, she always looks so depressed. Becky always looks depressed, man. Yeah, I'm, so I'm so happy she's we're happy starving. now. We were literally seated as soon as we got here. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> so why is Amber out of like out of breath from opening a booklet? Like you just sat down, you sat down immediately. Why are you so out of breath? Like you, you sound like Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. I always get the same thing. Like she's so exhausted, dude. Am I wrong? Like she says like half a sentence that she has to take a breath in the middle of it. Which is... The prices are incredibly this high. This looks a little different. Um, you know, honestly speaking, somebody that's this fat, somebody that's this overweight should not be going to the Cheesecake Factory. Shouldn't be going anywhere outside of like going to the grocery store and practicing good like it's okay every once in a while but somebody like amber who has a really big problem should not be going out by the way these prices are ridiculous herb crusted flate of salmon 21.50 for some fucking fish and you know what they always get you with this shit right fresh fresh uh salmon with delicious lemon sauce First of all, I'll let you know if that's just delicious, and I'll also let you know if that's just fresh. Why the fuck you telling me? Why are you giving me all these adjectives to try to make it seem like this shit is so delicioso? Let me know. Let me go ahead and put it in my mouth, and I'll go ahead and tell you. You know what I'm saying? Snow pea sounds like some guy with really small nuts, right? Maybe like an albino guy, right? Like, I feel like snow peas is like, oh, yeah, check me out. Check him out, dude. All, our all new porn star coming in. Black guy, but he's white. You get the best of both worlds, right? And he comes in. Big ass white BBC, small nuts. Yeah, it's snow peas, right? That's what I said. That's what it seems like to me. They don't have, all right. You can't do lunch portion on any other way. You can't do lunch portion? I get the orange chicken. Okay, Amber. Bam. But it's gonna be agonizing to be around Amber all day, especially when she's recording you, right? Am I wrong? I feel like this is gonna be like uh this this we're gonna have an argument when we get home because I'm just so annoyed. Honey. Amber thinks she's so fucking hot, dude. Am I wrong? Like she just catches herself sometimes looking at herself, right? And I'm always thinking, when I see Amber sometimes, you guys ever watch Dragon Ball Z? The Boo Saga? I'd be seeing Majin Boo sometimes. People are like, why do you keep doing duck lips? It's just a habit. I, I honestly don't know. Does she do duck lips? Let Why do you keep doing duck lips? Yeah. I guess. Not really many lips to begin with. That's why I was like, if I did duck lips, you wouldn't even know, right? Watch. I just did it. People are like, why do you keep doing duck lips? It's just a habit. I, I honestly don't know. Okay. It's really pretty out in it. Yeah, it's a very nice day. Oh, God, I have to see myself. What? 
You look good. You look good. Oh shit. No. Okay. Yeah. Somebody no. that can't take a yeah. compliment. That's sweet, thanks. Jesus, what is the shot? Oh, I think the guy's coming out. What is this shit oh, on God. Panorama? Oh, what? Damn, what the fuck, dude? Your gut is swallowing whatever this is. I'm sorry, I'll be taking care of you. I'll have Coke Zero. Sure. Uh, I'll take a uh, back of everything. Sure, I'll get those rings and some bread for you. Thank you. Do you know what you're going to get? Yeah. What are you going to get? Uh, the tomato basil pasta is what I get every time. Yeah, you do. She wants cheesecake this time, but every time we come here, we're like, oh yeah, we're going to get cheesecake, but then, then we, we never do. We end up too full. Yeah, it's crazy. We got it's, the bread. Man, dude, these appetizers are never good for people, dude. For me, I don't eat them. Like when they put those little things on the table and they give you like chips and dip and stuff like that. I'm not eating your crusty ass fried tortillas. I'm not fucking eating that shit. Get the fucking shit out of my face. I came for the food. With some butter. We got a Becky with some cutie. She is so awkward on, on camera, dude. She just doesn't, she's not that type of person, man. And it really sucks too, because she's trying really hard to be with Amber. Like she's putting up with it a lot and I can see it. And it's good to compromise in relationships because ultimately it is a compromise. Like relationships uh, take a lot of deliberate work and uh, they require a lot of like actual trying. So I really, I really fuck with Becky knowing that she's trying, but um, you could tell she does not fuck with it. <laughs> I wonder what Amber has done to compromise with Becky. Like, I, I, I really wonder how much of a give Amber has. Because it seems like whenever she's in a relationship, she always takes. And she asks for a lot. Like, she seems very high maintenance. So here is my food. So she ordered this shit and it was like $17. Is this worth $17 to you? Not personally. I don't think it's worth $17. $17. I think it's probably 1,000 calories too at that. That's a fuck ton of rice. Um, and not a lot of food. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is like white meat okay. and chicken. This is the best. I feel like I was covering the speaker, you so were. if I was, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to know when people watch Amber, right, and they see these videos, these mukbang videos of her eating food or whatever she's doing, like if she goes out to eat. How many how many people are watching this because it's like good quality content like they're coming there because they want to watch Amber eat because they think that she's a cool individual with a lot of personality and a lot of feist and a lot of like mm, mm, in her life and how many people are there beating off. That's what I would love to know, dude, because I know I've met plenty of dudes that have beaten off to things that are deplorable, right? And beating off to a big woman eating some I guess some orange chicken and some rice that's pretty that's pretty tame compared to so like some some guys that i know right like i knew a dude oh man i can't even lie to you when i was like ah oh, what what year did gta 4 come out so when gta 4 was out right when it was like the hotness or whatever i think i probably went to the strip club one time when i was like this was like when i was 13 or something like that and i was playing gta 4 and i remember dude i beat off to those those like really really um those strippers in the, in the club right because i didn't have i didn't have internet at the time so i beat off to the strippers man and it was really uncomfortable because when i was playing it the main character was making noises he was like yeah that's what i like or he was like he was like from a different country so he's like he was like Uncia, yeah, it's good i don't think he was russian I, I don't think he was german or whatever but you get the point but those boobs were like hexagons they weren't like you know real actual looking boobs but i was so down bad that I was like, this is it. Like, I was watching that shit. I was like, oh my God. I need to beat off. And I did. And I'm not proud of it. But that should just go to tell you, right? When you're in a really bad... I wouldn't do that nowadays, right? Because I got GTA 5. But I wouldn't do that now, even if there was, you know, boobs in games and stuff like that. Because I pornography exists and things such and so forth. And, you know, I'm also like a well-rounded individual now. I've lived through a lot more stuff. And I know that um, worth more than just some hexagon boobs. But, uh dudes will beat off to very very light things or like very very obscure things and i wouldn't even put it past if somebody was like yeah i beat off to i was watching amber lynn i couldn't help myself i i wouldn't even be surprised no i don't really know how to do thumbnails anymore what do you mean i wonder what the conversations are with becky dude because listen 
when I'm in relationships with people, there's good chemistry because I'm not going into a relationship with somebody that has bad chemistry with me. So when we're having conversations about things that don't matter or things that are completely irrelevant, things that have absolutely no value, because that's how you know the person that you're talking to is actually like a person that you're supposed to be with, right? If you can just have conversations that spew from one to the next to the next to the next, that's a good person to be with. When I hear Amber and Becky talking, it's always so awkward. And there's almost like no substance to any of the conversations. And they have, it seems forced a lot of the time too. They just have to talk to break the silence. <clears throat> good answer, good answer. You've done them before just fine. Well, yeah, when I was doing it from my phone. Sick out your tongue when you eat is crazy. What's the difference in doing it from the camera? Because on my phone, I'd screenshot the thumbnail. So. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How's your food? Delicious. This is so you awkward. Want to show them what you got? She said, Tomato basil pasta. That, that's the end of the video. We're not watching this shit anymore. I mean, let me skip ahead to see what else is going on. Awkward Becky. Do they eat more? No, that's the end of the video, dude. That's it. That's all right. That's it, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. It's too cringy for me. It's way too awkward. It doesn't make sense oftentimes when I see them communicating. It's just so incredibly awkward. I hope that your relationships are way more, I don't know, I guess, substance fill than hers with Becky. And it comes out now that Becky felt the same way and she felt like she was being abused and like super whatever. Um, that's real tough, but Becky is doing better now, so that's amazing. Amber, hopefully, you know, even though a lot of people don't like Amber, I always want the best for Amber. I think that she should prioritize health as much as she possibly can, and also, I think you should as well. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All of those things help me grow in the algorithm, so if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I also want to thank everybody that's a member of my channel. Thank you for becoming a member of my channel. I love you. Thank you for making that commitment and staying with me for the rest of your life because that's ultimately what you did. And the same thing for everybody that's a subscriber. Thank you for being a subscriber. I love you. I care for you. I want to, mm, I don't know, I guess maybe mm, like chisel down your toenails. You know what that thingy, that, that, that thing that you put on your nails? I don't know what that's called, but I want to do that because your toenails deserve catering. I don't like toes though, personally, in a very heterosexual, non-sexual way though. Like I do it as a friend or something like that. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in keyboard because this is a keyboard. And see, I can lift it up because it's wireless. Can you believe that? I got a wireless one. I bought it while it was on sale too. Uh, anyway, write down keyboard. Uh, it's so weird when somebody says like, I remember I was talking to somebody recently and they were like, yeah, I'm going to get a keyboard. And I was like, oh yeah, what kind of keyboard? And they were like, oh, just one that can like really, you know, whatever. And like, it took me like five minutes to realize that this person, when they said they wanted a keyboard, wasn't talking about a keyboard. They were talking about a keyboard for pianos. And I was like, oh, like it took me a very long time to understand that. Cause like, I don't know anybody that even plays music anymore. Like at least, you know, music like that. It's all on the computer now. So I don't know. It was like really awkward because I was like, oh, you're talking about a fucking piano. And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know. And it was really awkward after that because um, I guess he assumed that it, it, I guess all my dialogue was actually pretty centered towards what he was talking about. That was like really, really, really like, what the fuck is this guy talking about there? I was like, what? Keyboards that have like white and black? What are you talking, talking about, man? And I was trying to look him up on the phone or whatever. I don't know, man. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, you're a beautiful specimen of human, by the way. I appreciate your existence every single fucking day. Every day, by the way. I appreciate you being here and watching this Amber Lynn Reed video with me. Thank you for sacrificing your time with me. And I love you. I care for you. I love that you're healthier. I love that you're making good moves towards being healthier. Good job. Good job, you amazing, beautiful, spectacular individual. Anyway. We're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram and my Twitter and my Discord and my second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.